back to the channel. Uh, I guess welcome to myself back to the channel too because it's been so long since I have vlogged. I actually took those clips, those morning clips that you just saw like a week ago and I kept trying to start the vlog and it was just really, really awkward. It still feels really awkward, but I'm just gonna get through it. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and try to talk forever about everything that's happened in the last couple years in our lives because it's a lot. Uh, and I will update on all of that as we get back into vlogging. But I was editing some drone footage for my dad that I took on the same program that I used to edit the vlogs on and I came across some of our vlogs from when we were planning the wedding and we ended up watching a bunch of them and we were just so, so glad to have all those videos and all those memories and it was the first time we'd watched them and it's been like almost two years now so I was so glad to have that. I wish that I had been vlogging this past year because we've had a lot of really exciting things happen. Mainly one exciting thing, that being that we bought a house. Um, we actually built a house. We didn't build it with our own two hands, but we had a house built. And that's our main kind of thing that's happened this past, e past year. We moved in, it'll be a year next month since we moved into this house. And I am kicking myself for not filming anything this past year. But that's why we want to get back into it. We have some things happening that are going to be exciting that we want to be able to look back on. You can probably tell by the title of this video that the first thing that's happening in about three and a half weeks by the time you're seeing this, maybe three weeks, is we are getting a new puppy. And we're super excited about that. I've had Dexter for five years and we've gone back and forth on getting a new puppy for so long and it just kind of came to be that this puppy is the exact breed that we wanted. Um, it's actually our neighbor that has the puppies. And as soon as we met her and we found out that she would be having these puppies, we were like, okay, this just, it's too perfect. Like we've got this new house, we've got a nice big yard. It's time for Dexter to just have a brother or a sister. And he actually is gonna have a sister, spoiler alert. We're getting a girl dog. So yeah, that's one of the many exciting things. I'm gonna stop rambling. I am going to get on to the point of today's video. Uh, I do wanna do a house tour. Uh, the house isn't really like that clean right now, so I'm not gonna do it today. I wanna do maybe like a separate video where I just like kind of run you through the house, uh, furnished and lived in for a year. And maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that like with Aiden because I think he'd wanna be here for that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get on to the point of this video, which is getting some stuff set up for our new puppy. So we ordered her a new crate and it actually got here today. It is right there. Um, it's called the Diggs Revolve crate, if I remember right. Um, it was kind of an investment, but it's like we wanna do the whole crate training thing and we wanna do it all right. And it's got like really good reviews, really good safety ratings and all that. So we invested in that and that's what I'm gonna be setting up today. So it's right here. Um, here's the crate. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting it opened up. So we're pretty sure we decided that we're gonna put the crate right here. It's like you come down the stairs and it's like right here so that um, when we come down in the morning, she can see us. It's pretty close to the back door, which is right there. There's also a back door right there. Um, and so I think that's just like an essential area. It's close to the kitchen. This is also another thing we got from the company that we got the crate from. It's like a little treat. I'll show you when I open it. Broken from the start, I am nothing more than roses at the side of a busy road. How I'm crawling for a worthy goal. At least I'm not alone in my empathy. There's more like me who don't know how to be, how to reach out to the open. Ooh, it is heavy. <laughs> That was actually really easy once I got it like 
sitting flat. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about this crate is that it comes with like a divider because she's obviously not gonna be that big when we first get her. I don't even know if I talked about what breed we were getting. We're getting a golden doodle, which I feel like there's so much negative stuff about like golden doodles right now. So it's like, I hesitate to say that, but I used to have a golden retriever. My parents had one and I absolutely was in love with him. And Dexter is part poodle and is like super smart. I love the like poodle mix with things. Um, Aiden also grew up with a schnoodle, a schno sh I almost says snick snickerdoodle, but a schnoodle, schnauzer poodle. And we've just always really loved the like poodle thing, but I didn't want one that was really big. So it's actually a mini golden doodle that we're getting. So needless to say, she will not need this entire space while she's being crate trained. So we're gonna put this in. I'm gonna see if I can figure this out. Okay, before I get the rest of the crate set up, like the pad and stuff, I wanted to see if I could figure out. So one cool thing about this crate that's really nice for crate training is that you can open it up from the top. So you can give, is it backwards on the side? Um, so you can give your puppy treats from the top of the crate. So when they're back there, cause you wanna like teach them that like they're gonna get rewarded for being in the crate. So you can give them treats from the top, you can pet them while they're in there. And then, I don't know if I can do that with one hand, so I'm gonna leave it. And then also, let's see if I can figure this part out, cause I think this is really cool, but okay, I need two hands. This side, oh, okay. Uh, let's see, that was not what I was thinking was gonna happen. I guess I really need to read like a, manual or something on this before I start messing with it. There we go. They call it a garage door side. I thought the whole thing would come up and like go up like a garage door and I think it does somehow, but yeah. So when you have it during the day, you can shut the front and then your puppy can kind of just go in and lay in there from the side. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna read a little bit more about how all this works because I feel like I'm trying to like figure it out while I'm filming and I'm just getting confused and looking really dumb. Okay, I was actually doing that correctly, um, just not very smoothly. So I'm gonna get the puppy like bed pad right here that I got for inside the crate. It came a few days ago, so I had it in the study uh, because I think I need to put this in before I put the divider in. After a little bit of difficulty, I got in there. It looks like the pad might not work with the divider, which would suck. So I might look that up online and see if that's the case because, see, it just doesn't look like it has enough space under there. So yeah, I'm gonna see. I might be, this is like pretty squishy, so it might be a little like squished down, but I'm gonna do a little bit of research and see. Okay, I just looked it up. Unfortunately, you cannot use the snooze pad with the puppy divider. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. And then when she's bigger and doesn't need the divider, then we will be able to put it in there. So 
That's unfortunate. I feel like they should say that on the page when you buy it, that it doesn't work with the divider. Maybe they do, and I just didn't read the whole thing enough. So I'm just gonna have to get her like a smaller pad. I'll just get one that like is those dimensions, um, maybe a little bigger or even just a nice blanket with a towel under it because she might have accidents in the crate at the beginning. So we'll see. But other than that, I'm super impressed with how nice this looks. It also fits here perfectly. This is just like the best spot for it. Let's see. Is that, there we go. So yeah, that's just the best spot. It's like it's made for that crate. Okay, and then I thought maybe I'd just go ahead and show you guys what this is while I'm at it. Um, I also got this from Diggs. And it's basically to help train your my umbrella was like blowing in the wind outside and I thought it was someone outside. So this is what I got. It's called a groove training aid and you put like peanut butter, you can put like wet dog food. Um, some people do like blueberries and fruits and then you freeze it and you don't have to freeze it. I think you can just do peanut butter stuff unfrozen too. Uh, and then you put it in like the like you put it through the gaps on the crate and twist it so it's like that. And then your puppy can lick all the treats off of it and it gives them positive associations for being in the crate when you're teaching them that that's their, their safe space. So I'm super excited for this. I got the Diggs crate like bundle that came with the crate, the pad and this. Oh, um, I can show you guys a picture of the puppy. She's only three weeks old right now. She turned four weeks actually yesterday. Um, let me see if I can pull up a good picture of her to show you. There's four puppies in the litter and our neighbor gave us first pick of puppies and we knew we wanted a girl. So there's two girls and two boys. So we basically picked between two. And this one just like, I was drawn to her the first time we met the puppies. She was the first one that I held. She like always falls asleep when I hold her. She's just such a sweetie. So here's a cute picture. So look how freaking sweet she is. She always falls asleep on me. Let's see, here's, <laughs> I think all the pictures I have are of her sleeping. There we go. Isn't she super cute? Um, we do have a name for her and I'm not gonna say it just yet because I don't know, I just feel like that would be like a fun thing to announce like when we bring her home. A lot of people already know, so I could probably just say it, but I don't know. I'm always, I like to like make a big deal about things. You know, I like to be like, this is, you know, our new puppy. Oh, and speaking of making a big deal about things, I was waiting for the crate to get here. Uh, I'm waiting for one more thing, like a little sign board, you know, those felt boards that you put the letters on because I want to do like a coming soon and put it next to the crate and take some pictures and post it on Instagram to like announce that we're getting a new puppy. Um, yeah, I'm really extra, but this is what brings me joy in life. So it's what I'm going to do. Okay, I think I'm just gonna keep this video short and leave it at that, the crate unboxing. I know that there's probably gonna be people that are like, um, searching for information on the crate. I know I was when I was trying to decide if I was gonna get it or not. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it at that so that it's kind of more informational for those of you that are looking for that. For those of you that are watching me for our vlogs, uh, stay tuned because we have a lot of things going on. As I've said, there's probably, there's like four main things that are going on in our life right now that are very good, very exciting. Actually five possibly, if I'm gonna talk about that. Before I start rambling again, I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of intro back into vlogging, me setting up for the puppy, and I hope that I will see you guys more. Um, I'm gonna really try, we're gonna get back into vlogging. Uh, I hope, <laughs> I hope we're gonna get back into it. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next few days. I'm gonna try really hard. And subscribe if you wanna keep up with everything that's going on with us. I have a few more things in the works, maybe some more like um, what I eat in a day videos, some of my favorite low carb recipes maybe, um, some more diabetes stuff, but let me know, those of you that are subscribed or planning on subscribing, let me know what you wanna see from us because I know this channel has been kind of all over the place. It's just kind of been like our lives, which 
are kind of all over the place. <laughs> um, yeah, but with that, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.